In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to modify both request and response headers for any application on your Mac computer. Okay, so modifying headers is something that is helpful in uh, debugging applications. So I just opened up the network tools here. And if I go ahead and refresh this page, which happens to be youtube.com, what we're going to see are a series of request and response headers. Request headers is data that we send to the server when we're requesting the backend application via the, the domain name here. And then the server sometimes has logic to look at the headers, the request headers, and respond based on different attributes and things like that. Like for instance, cookies are a form of a header. So right here you see this cookie header, and then there's this um, semicolon delimited list here of the cookie name and the cookie value because cookies are kind of like a special header. But um, the point is sometimes we want to modify this data to get a different um, response from the server. So for instance, there should be a header called user agent, which should be a request header. And it's this one at the bottom right here. This tells the server what kind of device, browser, or application combination I'm making the request from. Is it Safari? Is it Firefox? Is it a native application? Is it uh, a mobile operating system or something like that? And the server is able to respond with uh, optimized application based on that device configuration. So what we'll show here is we're going to modify the user agent to tell the server that we are a mobile device and see if the um, server responds with a mobile optimized version of the website. So if we were just running our test in Chrome, there are uh, extensions that we could use for this. So there's one that I like called uh, Modify Headers. Um, and it's a Chrome extension and it's aimed at solving this exact problem. You can, you can modify the headers with this extension. But not every application has uh, extensions and sometimes um, uh, we don't have a way to, to modify those headers like for instance Safari doesn't have a header modification extension as far as I know but say we wanted to modify headers on like slack or you know github or um, a native application well then obviously that would be much harder to do so what I'm going to advocate for is using a tool called requestly there's an extension for requestly but there's also a desktop version of the application. So if I just open a new tab here and I search for Requestly Desktop, I'm going to go ahead and download this. I had to do um, control click open for it to give me the option to open this because the developer is not verified. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so this is the requestly application. So before we do this, let's walk through what we're going to try to do here. So we want to spoof our session as if we are an iPhone device. So I just chose the emulator right here in Chrome because I want to grab the user agent that it uses. I can turn this off for now. All right, so I'm going to leave this window here. I'm going to open Safari and I'm going to go over to a new private window. Okay, and then if we open up Requestly here, so if we want we can view the traffic here, but what we're trying to do is add a new header. So we're going to do new rule. We're going to do modify header. Let's call this spoof mobile. There's already going to be a user agent, so we do want to modify it. It's a request header. So we're going to do user agent. And we'll just plug in this guy. This should be a mobile user agent based on what we saw. And we can add a criteria for when we want to apply this rule. So I'm going to say if URL contains YouTube. Let's 
Go ahead and save this. Okay, so now we have our rule in place. We're gonna modify the user agent on the request to spoof a mobile device if the URL contains the word YouTube. So I'm just gonna pop open Safari and we will go over to YouTube. And we are now on m.youtube.com. And just to uh, drive that point home, if I go to dub dub dub, I get redirected to m. So we are modifying the header, the server is seeing it, and it's responding in kind. So there's a lot of cool things you can do um, with modifying headers, like uh, stripping out content security policies, uh, spoofing your location with the X forwarded for header. Um, so it's really useful to have in your toolkit as far as debugging goes. Anyways, thank you for listening. As always, guys, if you found this video useful, go ahead and click that like button. And thanks for listening.